control. You have a whole bunch of, you know, tanky guys, so to speak, that could just get in the way. But I, I think you're going to have a bit of a rough time. There's a lot of eggs in one basket, whereas an Echo, like, there are so many avenues of attack. They have different angles. They can outposition you. Um, they do need to be very careful. And yes, they are squishy. So putting this wall where you do giants can't seem to penetrate as of yet, but as soon as I say this. Oh, but Sanjay, solo. Zach goes for the flicker play. He doesn't actually get the kill. Now Zach is going to be worried. He's going to be looking to be left for dead, but Zyda gets Flickers, first. He's going to be fine for now. Oh boy, that was so close. He could have gone a little bit uh, sideways here, but Echo PH, they do secure the football from side here, so that's a little bit of a problem point for them. But now, finally, Yuri Red Giants getting the space they need. The other trying to force a fight. Oh, nice. Two man knockout. Zach getting low. Sanji's gonna do that. The Fender Nair Strike, that's gonna be connected. Flicker away to go. Dead. He's gonna get out, and they're gonna let slain. him know he's gonna be killed. Samford will take that one. So, three early kills going the way of Echo. Oh, mistakes. It's, it's not over yet, though, but it seems like you do giants with their strengths. And as of yet, Echo PH, they're trying to get this power bomb here, but they are going to scout a pentagon, though. Oh, the Feathered Air Strike right onto him. It's the perfect setup. You have your stuns. Pancake is going to be. But Echo just pretty quick every text to play that you do giants coming. But now, a bossy attempt coming from us. Thank you, though. Oh, they've got the Fenrir, and it looks like they're going to go for more. They do have the Isekis. He's going to be slowed down. He's going to dash over the wall. They have the second side. The turtle's now been spawned, but Zack, the Cult Alter, that's going to be the first one. Zack is trying to flicker. He gets killed. Zyda will take that. The Tempest of Blades actually going to be a little off the mark. They have a nice three-man stun. Sekis is going to be killed. Zyda is going to be killed in return. But now Gojas is on the run. He's being focused. No real way. He gets dashed. He does get killed in the end. Not able to get away. Seven. Going to be a little off the mark. Sanford doesn't do any of this. They have the vision of the turtle getting very low. Who's going to go for this one? Sekis will secure that one. That's a good win for them. They do have the nice little knockoff. Gojas is going to be knocked up. And a nice four-man stun. Sanford continuing on. The penalty zone was just on point. The feathered airstrike is going to be laying, raining on top of them. Super Red is going to be killed. And now Yudo Red Giants on the run. You've got nothing left. All you have is Sekis and Pancake now just trying to get to safety. Oh boy, Seki, he's just stuck right now and Sanford getting the kill coming from X. Yeah, but the Feathered Air Strike, that was used very, very early. I, I think a little premature for me, my taste, but it looks like they've got him. Sanford is getting a little bit low. He's going to kind of spot them out. Yudo Red Giants are making a beeline for the Lord, realizing that they need to go. Nice knockoff. Our play is going to be killed. That's a huge win for them. And Zyda now looking to fight this. The Call Alter's already been expended as well. Now the Tempest of Blade slices and dices. Kill Super Red. That's a lot of the damage, but you have the control. Pancake is going to to be killed. Zyda now on the run. Sanford is very low. Is he going to be able to do this? He does get the kill. He's somehow out healing everything, doing the damage, and that's what you want. Sanji's going to be killed as well. Doja's now on the run. He's going to be killed. Zyda will secure that one. Now three left standing. They're going to focus on the Lord. Yeah, that was a beautiful execution. Right? Get one, take him out. That's pretty much it. And now look at this. Echo PH looking for the catch. Oh, the Blazing do it! The Venice Rage used defensively, but Super Red just gets blown up. No chance. We talked about positioning. Not gonna happen. Goja's gonna be killed as well, but Zyda will fall a little Bring too... chance. I feel like you do Red Giants right now. They need to find a way to enable... Um, I would say an evil that he's going to play. Oh, there but we go. Oh, That's going to be used. Pancake, he's going to get a little bit low. The Feathered Airstrike, but Sanji's already been killed. Pancake's going to be killed in return. The Tempest of Blade, that's going to do some work. Zack is going to be killed in that one. Sanford getting a little bit low. Gojis is down for the count. Zyda doing some work, but he's going to fall. And Super Red did survive, at least for the time. He's doing some damage. He's on the run, but now everybody's drawing a beat on him. They want to make sure that they kill him. And Sanford will take your triple kill. He has the most damage of the game, and yeah, you can play it safe. I mean, you have a level net worth lead. You have, I mean, everything is going your way, right? And this is one of those things, as I say that Gojus is going in for this one. Sanford, that is, he's just trying to get to safety. He gets back out. He somehow survives most of that. The Appraiser's Wrath, a little off the mark. Seki's gonna back up with a feathered air strike right on top, and he slams it down, kills him, and it looks like they're gonna get something out of that, which is, of course, just Seki's life. That was a clutch play coming from Yaoi. Like, if the hard guard wasn't on time, I'm pretty sure Sanford would have died, but it's oh, not over yet. Look at this, outplay, zoning them out, and Gojas as well. Gets a nice kick onto Zayda, and that might be the comes to run for his life, and he's gonna be good. However, 
lot of commits right here as well. They need to try and commit to this as well. Who gets it? And it's gonna be Zyda that actually gets it once again. And now Unity Red Giants, they need to back off. Sekis with the appraisal draft, not getting the finish at all. And now they are in a little bit of an awkward spot here. They try to kill off Outplay, but they just can't kill him at all. And now Echo will go in for the all out brawl. Go just fate one. But now, Super Red for a kill. He's gonna try and kill Sanford, but does buy enough time, and Super Red will be picked off, and that's gonna be a triple kill for Sanji for Echo PH. Yeah, I mean, that's looking to be all she wrote, at least for game one. I mean, the minions are here. The Lord is going to be crashing. That was actually the perfect fight that you wanted to echo to kind of slow things down or to, to finish the game, so to speak. But the Tempest of Blade slices and dices. Zack, no real chance. And it's going to be completely wiped out. GG, game one goes the way of Echo. Does it in 19 minutes. Does it in style. Wow. That that was a big, big clutch coming in from Echo for you. Like, them crazy floor in play. I was expecting it, but this kind of puts a little bit more effort on towards what Zyra is going to be playing on this uh, link. But where does this Paquito go? XP or jungle? It's huh. going to be... Uh, uh, go in for this one. You're, you're burning the farm, so to speak, trying to get everything. But, like... I don't know if Echo is just incredibly lucky or they're playing things to the T in, in the sense of understanding when to disengage. But here we go, the Divine Judgment that was stolen. Because they actually end up getting a little bit of a skirt because I'm just going to go down. That's going to be first blood, but Zyda has been killed and that's going to be a pretty big win. That's two It's like there's going to be a concealed play going top. Oh, Pancake going for the kick. We do find him as well, and that's gonna be outplay. But it's one more, but outplay. Outplay. Okay. Fight gonna be okay. cheeky. However, he forces Sanji to get a lose the entire team fight. However, first move coming in down mid. Yeah, down mid. Pancake. He's gonna look to go with for this one. He goes, and he's gonna be getting. Sekis is gonna be killed. Nice feathered airstrike. That's gonna start things off. Sanford looking to just kind of zone things out. The turtle's gonna be there. They're all gonna stay in the brush. What is the play? Go just goes for this one. The double dash. He tries to get it. Sanji gets blown up. Super Red will secure that one. He gets a double kill on the Yawi, and they're looking to get, actually get the turtle as well. But Zaida will actually steal that one away. Zack is continuing to fight. Zaida still on point. He's looking to go. Go just has been killed. Now they've got uh, Sanford, who's just basically attracting the attention of three members of Udo Red Giants. Oh no, Sanford, he might actually get a no kill here. No time for outplay at Zyda. Echo PH will get back into the game. And based on the economy lead right now, it, it might actually oh, happen. Oh my goodness, as soon as they say it, they find the opportunity at Pancake. You're like, what? you know what? Come and fight me in this awkward position. If you do, we are going to win this. And Udo Red Giants, they do make oh, the attempt now. Judgment. They found Sanford. That's one way to do it. You got five on one, no real chance. Now they've got Conceal Yawi looking to get his own Divine Judgment. Pulls him back. They have the nice two-man stun. The Ring of Order doing some work. The Tempest of Blades is going to be used as well. Sanji's got the Feather Air Strike. Providing a little cover support, but now they're going to back off. They did get Goges. That's going to be one. One for two, that is. And it looks like Echo Esports, they're going to have a tough situation here. Oh, first mistake coming in, but now here comes the record battle. Does he get his Ekis? Oh, so in this case, Echo PH, they're playing the macro aspect to try oh, and punish it. But Yowie here comes the play. They've got the Divine Judgment. They've got him in the Feathered Air Strike. Sekis is going to be blown up. Outplayed is going to be killed in return, but Super Red is turning it on. He's got two kills already. And Sanji now is being focused down by Gojis, but he's stuck on the enemy team. One versus three. I don't know if that's where you want to be. Sanji gets killed. Gojis is continuing to go ham. Sanford is getting low. They do have it. And Super Red gets another kill and that is the opening that Udo Red Giants have and now they're forcing the attention on this T3. This is uh, the perfect game coming in from Udo Red Giants but Echo PH definitely in a very very difficult spot because ladies and gentlemen we are heading into it but if a composition isn't too bad if you think about it. Actually I, I kind of like both of them as weird as mm -hmm. to say uh, they're both very balanced they both have options it's really everybody needs to ensure that their side you know the uh, the karina the lings of the world everybody's getting the right amount of farm because there's just too much at stake at this point but as i say oh, that zyda will that QP and echo ph can just itemize accordingly and in this case they are going to try to force a fight now zeki's going to be looking staring them down zyda shows oh, himself and zeki might actually die to this and he is. This Ling is not going to be able to contest Zyda at all. And speaking of contest, bottom side though. Oh, that the flicker be. play, the oh. energy eruption. Sanford's like, I got him. Just make sure you knock him down because <laughs> the rest of his team is right there. And Zyda and Sanji will help secure that one. 
This is smart. This is smart coming away for BH. They understand the draft or what uh, Angela is really weak at. Like, they play this really well, but hold that thought for now. You do the Giants, though. They do get a nice kick onto the Sanji. That's the longest kick I've ever seen as well. Sanford now forced to follow the fight. A Brazen Rock connects him too. It does a lot of damage, but where's the follow on? Here he comes. It's going to be Zyda with the Mega Kill. They trade him off, but Echo PH were able to get a little bit of trades here. How to deal with this Angela Link composition? Punish Angela when they're alone. In this case, they've been judged when comes in. Judgment. Right on to Pancake. He's going to be killed. He just gets instantly bursted. The kick, I, that's exactly what you wanted. But again, no follow-up. Nobody was there. But I mean, oh, oh, the flicker. Stanford what? wants to go for this one. Go just, uh, that was uh, very ambitious by Stanford. Yeah, speaking of ambitious, he gets the final stack, but here comes the hot god to keep him alive as well. He, he, they want to turn the fight against Sanford. Sanford does have a praise oh. draft, does the neck, drops Gold Jazz, but he's got the sustain! And it is going to be outplay coming from Gold Jazz and Zach QT, Echo P. Hey! Uh, spells here besides the Divine Judgment, they force out the hot god. So, as of now, they're in a perfect condition. Oh, wait, hold that thought right now. Sanji, what were you thinking, man? Why are you so thought far thought it would away? snowball actually much faster off of the back of Zyda, but, you know, the 401, that's another good kick. Throws back Sanford, but the Tempest of Blades, that's going to be used, and Yaoi will take out most of that. The energy eruption slows him down. Pancake is about half-life. They have the final slash. That's going to be used. Sekis is continuing to fight, though, but Pancake is going to kill Zyda. That's his fifth kill of the game. Sixth We're on that. On top of that with Super Red, and now this is looking very rough for Yudo Red Giants as Gojess is looking to go down as well. Oh, mistakes were made. Echo P. I hope it all they even took the tier one up top for outplay on this spot. So nothing is going well. However, Pancake looking for the kick. It's gonna get bursted down and so will Zyda as he goes in the back line. Two shots to Brody and now he's looking for more Gojas in an awkward position, but it's gonna be Sanji with the auto attack to get the kill. kills, and that's exactly what you don't want to see as a Udo Red Giant sport uh, fan. Uh, you know, this Karina just being able to pop off, being super, like, again, just picking off anybody who walks alone. In this case, the biggest threat here is going to be Zyda. In this case, Anfer now going to be starting these over the conceal play. Oh, the flicker. Oh, the flicker. Oh, the Super red just completely shut down. The damage is just unbattable. And now Yudu Red Giants. dream pickoff from Yudu Red Giants is that they need to catch Zyda in the most awkward position and just win the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean... You talk about the problem, but now this problem's on your doorstep. They've got the Divine Judgment, pulls back Sanji, and it looks like Pancake, excuse me, he's going to be killed. It's, uh, Zach is going to be killed as well. Zach is going in for this one. And Super Red, Zaida just turning it up, and he does die. So that's some, you know, semblance of hope, I would say. But the Lord now, Zekis is going to have to just run back in. And now the rest of them are just going to wait for this minion wave. Three members, and it looks like this is going to be game three. Going the way, Seki's no way you slow this down. They focus on the base, and that's going to be it. Echo Esports pulled this one out win game three. GG, well played. Two. No, I'm sorry, not Super Red. It was Pancake playing on the show, kind of set up this uh, Wave of the Dragon, she just burst it down. But having this Angela pickup just put them in a very awkward spot coming from Yuru Giants. Like, I know you can actually flex the uh, Angela as a roaming position and as a mage, but they needed a very, very strong frontliner. And for them, Echo PH, that frontliner was having the, the, the Tarisla base of game number one. And in this case, it didn't really work out for Yuru Red Giants because of the fact that they just don't have this strong zoner. In this case, uh, Gojas playing that uh, Arlot in the early game just cannot do what a Tarisla or even a Uranus do right from the get-go, which a, is a very, very big problem. However, what I want to talk about here is Karina. How do you kill a Karina with Shadow Dance inbuilt Winds of Nature right from get-go and Yuru Red Giants just doesn't have any magic damage at all and and the reason why I say I don't have magic damage is because technically Angela doesn't have enough magic damage to threaten people. It is a utility hero, it is a support hero, it is technically what helps your teammates win games. In this case, slowing down Karina isn't going to do much. You need to kill Karina and currently, based on the damage dealt as well, you look at this, Yuru Red Giants, they've got...